right, folks. We have some commentary now for this Snake Ditto. One of the more interesting Ditto's in the game, for sure. Snake already kind of doesn't feel exactly like a Smash character. So seeing two non-Smash characters get out is a little bit of a, uh, a novel thing to see. That being said, in terms of the matchup, ooh, one thing that is consistent for Snake throughout all matchups, regardless of whether it's you know, against himself, that off is just such a good anti-air option. And killing with Snake is not terribly difficult, but it is pivotal in this matchup. Uh, both these characters obviously can kill. They are the same character. Uh, but if you don't get the kill first, if you end up having to play from behind like Charles is right now, it's murder. It's so hard, especially considering that Snake is, does not have the greatest approach option, especially against Snake. And we're seeing Bobo really trying to use that to the fullest. Charles looking for an off tilt work, especially on that tech chase right there. But Bobo, very smart, does not give it to him. Maintains his lead, getting consistent damage with that F tilt. I really like the idea behind that. He's forced to re grab out of its ability, and the second he is going to take the stock. That's going to be game one for Bobo in a two stock fashion. Now, I think overall, at least for the end of the match that I got here for, uh, Charles wasn't playing too terribly. However, he was taking percent. Um, I like the fact that Bobo wasn't trying to go for crazy leads. He wasn't like, I am a lead, and I'm going to go for this nutty setup where I get like six neutral layers. No, he was, he was shielding, and then he noticed that his opponent was getting too antsy on the shield. He would just punish it with a clean f tilt. But we're going to have a different character from uh, Charles. I love the little cross there. Such a good, like, already demonstrating matchup awareness. Oh, oh, oh. Now... Rob and Snake, if you're looking at this from Charles' perspective, Rob and Snake are kind of similar. They both have a lot of item play. They both have the ability to zone out their opponents. Uh, that being said, it's no longer the Ditto. And one of the most... Like, a lot of people who play Smash don't like the Ditto of their own character. And I've heard that said that the reason behind it is that you and your character... Like, if you're both playing the same character, you both want to occupy the same space. And that makes neutral in general kind of weird and awkward. But it seems that without that particular handicap, Charles is doing very well right now. We saw him struggling almost like basically consistently throughout that game one. But now here he has a lead. And if he has a lead, firstly, he doesn't have to approach Snake. And secondly, Snake has to approach him. As we're seeing already, oh, using that to his advantage, getting damage. Sort of similar to what uh, oh, Bobo was doing before, which is getting simple clean damage for right there. Kind of what we're extended on the platform. Went for a grab and it wasn't guaranteed, and that got him off tilted. Bobo throwing a lot of these forward airs out when uh, Charles is recovering. I mean, if it works, he dies, I'm pretty sure, so. And he's certainly not getting punished for it, so I can definitely understand that. What a read! It's not going to kill, but like, you gotta. Just look at that, and the lasts so long, actually, still gets him. That time, though, Charles very smartly attacks Nemikita instead, getting it out of his way. There's another up tilt. And if you're Charles, you can sort of see his expression. He throws his shoulders back a little bit. He had the lead here. You know, he got kind of bopped game one. And then game two, he switches to Rob, and the Rob really seemed to be working. But now all of a sudden, it, you know, one thing, Bo is adapting very well. But, you know, if you are... Charles, you might not be thinking about how your opponent is adapting. You're, you're, in your mind, you might already be thinking, oh my god, I choked this game. I had to leave against Snake, and now I have to play from behind. And keep in mind, Bo is PR here in Westchester. He's actually one of the higher PR players. I didn't even see when he... Did he get sticky? I didn't even see it happen. That was just a quick one-two finish.